Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. I got something a little bit different for you. So if you're new to this channel, typically I'm around off-road trucks and full-size trucks and mile per gallon. We're gonna do something a little different today. So let's check this out. So if you want a pickup truck and you're on a budget and you're really chasing fuel economy, the new Ford Maverick is not a bad option. And what's cool is now they offer two versions of this that give you a little bit more off-road capability than the standard hybrid Maverick. So on the left, you have the FX4, which gets you the all-wheel drive system, a little bit more aggressive tire, gives you some off-road capability in the shocks. It also gets you some front tow recovery hooks. If you want even the next step up, you'd go with the trimmer version. The trimmer version gives you some aesthetic upgrades. It gives you even a more aggressive tire, even more of a lift kit, a little bit bigger tire, and a big difference on the front bumper, which gives you more clearance off-road. You can kind of tell the differences between the bumpers. So when the Ford Maverick came out about three years ago, everybody knew this was gonna be a hit because of the price point and the value this truck represented. This is the first time Ford has made a front wheel drive based platform pickup truck that still has a lot of the capability of a mid-size and full-size pickup truck. These trucks started at $20,000 and the hybrids got over 40 miles per gallon in the city. Since then, it's been such a hit, people have been waiting years to try to get one of these for themselves. The fuel economy, the price, the capability, the interior spacing, these things represent a lot of value. This is why they're very hard to get. Ford now offers the FX4 package, which gets you a little bit more off-road performance. You get a little bit more aggressive uh, all-terrain tire with a little bit different rim pattern, with some different type of drive modes, a little bit different dampened shock. And then Ford said, let's take it up a notch. And that's when they came out with the trimmer. So right off the bat, what you get with the trimmer is you kind of notice a lot of the aesthetics. So the rims are different. You get a little bit different style of grill. You get a different headlight surrounds. You get the orange accents you get the yellow accents. The other big thing you notice is the front bumper and the differences with the front bumper. Look at the approach angle and that glide path. You look at, you got a little bit different protection for the intercooler. Now, if we look at the standard Maverick, you get a more traditional front end. So if you're looking for more off-road performance, this is the truck to go with. Also, if you're not familiar with the tires, with the trimmer, you get the Falcon Wild Peak AT3W, which gets you a little bit more aggressive tread, a little bit deeper. You get a mud and snow rated tire. Also, you get a little bit extra clearance and a lift, a little bit taller tire, a little bit different dampening in the shocks. If you look at the side profile, it really gives a nice little stance for such a small, compact pickup truck. So this is an XLT trim level, so you're not going to have all the features of a higher trim level with a leather interior, but you still get these really nice interior appointments. Got the orange stitching that goes down the side. A lot of hard touch surfaces, but the advantage to that is you're going to get a lot of long-term durability. Now let's look at payload on this model. 1,125 pounds. Not bad. Go to the second row. Be in a small compact truck. You do have less leg room than a full-size truck or a mid-size, but it still actually is really good. If we looked at a truck five, 10 years ago in a mid-size, this would be the standard size for a truck that size. It's also got really good storage underneath the second row too. This is better than many of the mid-size trucks available in the market. Got a cup holder there. And you have some access behind the second row. Very nice. This one actually comes equipped with the tonneau cover as well. A really nice, I think that's a class three or class four hitch with a four pin connector. Backup cameras. Already have a bed liner installed on this one with a cool little accessory spot. That's nice. We're gonna see that feature also on the 24 F series trucks. And it says Maverick right there, which is cool. Another feature is you have your plug in the side for a 110 outlet with LED lights. Another difference between the FX4 and the trimmer, besides just the decals, is actually the rear lights. If you notice the housing, this is more of a clear and silver look, whereas this has got the smoked out shade. This definitely gives a nicer sporty appearance. Here's kind of the difference in your wheels. You can kind of tell a little bit taller tire with the trimmer and a little bit more aggressive tread pattern. Let's see if we could see any differences in the dampeners and underneath the wheel wells. Can't tell any difference other than it looks a little bit taller. If we look at the front end of the XLT, 
Maverick, you notice right off the bat some of the differences in the front bumper. Look at the approach angle. Much more capable there, plus you can obviously get a good profile of the headlights and the differences there. This is more of a traditional reflector housing. Both these trucks have halogen headlights. Also another thing that's really nice, in the FX4 and the Maverick, you both get tow hooks. What's funny to me is, a Toyota Tundra doesn't even have tow hooks on the front, but a Ford Maverick does. Nice feature to have. Now we get in the XLT, and we notice some of the differences in the interior. Still have some of the same styling, but the colors are different. This is a lighter, lighter coloring in the side of the door. Still have soft touch there. Similar seating, but it is a different pattern and different stitching. Let's look at the payload. It's a bit of a difference here, almost 200 pounds more payload. Same layout just different colors. All right, now let's take a look at the Maverick trimmer window sticker. So you can see this is a two liter EcoBoost all wheel drive rated at 20 miles per gallon in the city, 24 in the highway with a combined 21 miles per gallon. This one is a 300A package. It gives you the 235 tires and the trimmer off-road package you can see is $3,495, which yes, that is a decent amount of money, but it also comes with a lot of options. This also includes the XLT luxury package, which gets you a little bit nicer seat. And it's got the Copilot 360, as well as the Tonneau for a grand total of $37,730. Well, let's see what the startup sequence looks like in this. This has a pretty decent gauge cluster, actually. I actually like the center display with the analog gauges on the side. I guess I'm kind of old school, but I actually prefer analog gauges more than digital. Looks like it's got a pretty nice basic display let's see the home button here so when i first get in the truck I realize it's got power mirrors with auto down for driver side so it just has driver side auto down no presets got your adjustable mirrors lockout for your mirror position here's your different headlight controls as well as your interior dimming for your instrumentation look at the steering wheel controls we've got your cruise control settings you got your volume for your audio and then you've got your different controls for your radio. So this is where you're gonna start getting some of the trimmer specific drive mode. So that's kind of cool. So you get a four wheel drive lock, locking rear differential. You get the trimmer mode for the drive mode for off-road. That's pretty cool. We're not gonna mess with that today because today is just an on-road driving comparison, but this is where you're gonna get some of the features we won't see in the other truck. Transmission control, this is not unsimilar to other vehicles we've seen, uh, Explorers and Expeditions with the dial transmission control. This has USB-A and C, heated seats, heated steering wheel, and your HVAC controls. As far as technology, let's look at the different apps here it's got. It does have Apple CarPlay. You can get your automatic updates by over the air, very nice. Let's go to some of the different vehicle settings. You can check some of the different camera. I like the rear camera display. And what I like is you got this little cubby hole there with a little storage up top. Let's see the glove box. It's actually got a huge glove box. Cup holders, got two, three, four, plus two in the rear and two in the door, so very nice. And another cool thing is you've got your trimmer embossed into the seats. Got a nice sunglass holder. So for today, we're gonna do a little fuel economy loop. I'm really curious to see how the trimmer compares to the FX4 for fuel economy. So I'm gonna reset our fuel economy and we're gonna get on our way to doing this loop. And there we go. The two liter turbo's actually got some pretty good pickup. No surprise, I've driven this motor in other vehicles like the Lincoln Nautilus and some of the others. And this, this motor makes a lot of power, especially in something this small. First impressions of the two liter EcoBoost, no surprise. If you haven't had a chance to drive one of these EcoBoost engines, they make surprisingly great low end torque for such a little engine. The amount of power this makes between 1500 and 2500 RPMs, you would think you were in a much larger V6 or even in some cases, a V8 engine. It will accelerate at a decent clip during that RPM range. I really like driving this truck. It's got great handling. You can, it's, it's hard to explain, but it definitely has car-like riding handling. So it feels much sportier than a traditional pickup truck. And I can feel the Copilot 360 engaging a little bit, which that's another feature. If you haven't had a chance to driving a vehicle with the Copilot 360, it's a phenomenal feature. I would love to have it on every vehicle I own. What I can tell you is from a road noise, 
I don't think road noise is bad at all. These tires are very quiet. I've had good luck with these tires. I recommend them. Wind noise is not bad. Uh, you can definitely tell it is a windy day, but I don't notice anything out of the normal for the wind in today's driving. I like the interior colors in this a little bit more than the standard XLT. Much more of a sportier themed vehicle. So here we're on a flat, doing about 74 miles per hour. No hypermiling, no one behind us, no cruise control. And right at these speeds right now, we're hovering at about, gosh, 30, 35 miles per gallon. Pretty incredible. Feedback, steering wheel, seat, butt, feels really good. Steering is nice and solid. So we're at the halfway point now just over 24 miles per gallon not bad so it's kind of funny saying this but this is a great handling little truck it does take the curves much better than your standard pickup truck transmission shifting is smooth every gear feels really good this two liter is a is a pretty solid power plant and ford has made it for quite a while so it's probably a pretty solid choice now you can kind of see here we're at 70 miles an hour just shy of 2000 rpms so we're on another flat area, we're at 70, in a different wind direction, but we're still getting about 27 miles per gallon on a flat. Not bad. Here's another reason to really like an EcoBoost other, over other powertrains that are even larger. Climbing up a hill, accelerating, and it won't downshift. It's able to hold the gear without a problem. Very nice. Pulling back in, let's see what we got for fuel economy on the trimmer. 26.1 miles per gallon not bad all right now let's do a drive in the fx4 and compare how it is versus the trimmer when we get in one thing i do notice is we have less this is a manual seat adjustment versus the other has power adjusted seats you can tell right away hvac controls are the same usb e and c now this is where there's some differences this had a trimmer specific mode on the last truck. This one actually has the start stop there. And then you can see your auto hold, whereas your start stop was, sorry, start stop was right there on the trimmer. Same storage in the top, same storage here, same glove box, same door side, similar glove box storage. Gives you a really interesting orange color theme for the storage. Turn in the air, it's kind of warm here. Another thing I notice is the orange carries over through the accent of the HVAC controls as well. Same sunglass holder. Technology-wise, this looks like the exact same system. Yep, not noticing anything different there. Dash layout is the same. Steering wheel controls look the same. Lighting controls look the same. Window controls are the same. You have auto down on the driver's side. All right, we're going to reset the fuel economy now and get ready for our drive review. Curious to see how the FX4 does versus the trimmer when it comes to fuel economy. First thing I notice is the difference in the steering wheel. This doesn't have the same type of steering wheel that's on the trimmer. This more has like a hard rubber, whereas the trimmer has like a really nice soft finish to it. When you go from a trimmer to an FX4, what do you give up on the road? I'll be curious to see how this goes. Let's get on the highway now and see how this thing feels and accelerates. I'm gonna try to use the same amount of acceleration. Power is not an issue for this little Maverick with the two liter turbo. So for driving impressions so far, believe it or not, I think the trimmer rides a little bit better. I feel like I feel a little bit less of the bumps uh, through the seat, but it's still really good. I mean, these little things, I mean, they're, they drive like a car. So if you're wanting a really good handling little truck, these things drive and ride really nice. Okay, getting off at the halfway point now, so far, this thing is doing really good on fuel mileage. Um, a few miles per gallon better than the Tremor. It'll be interesting to see where this thing ends up at the end. What I can say so far, uh, comparing the FX4 versus the Tremor, I think the Tremor is a little bit softer of a ride. I wonder if it's because it's a little bit lifted more, so you get a little bit more ride comfort. I would also say that road noise feels the same. Uh, perceived vibrations or harshness in the vehicle I don't notice any difference the motor transmission shifting everything feels good there I do like the steering wheel a lot better on the trimmer so that is something in your hands that feels a little bit better I also like the interior of the trimmer I think the colors look a little bit nicer and I like that it's got a power seat for the driver's side 
handling this is this is wild i mean you'd feel like you're almost in a sports car compared to an f-150 the way it can go around the corner so we're at 70 miles an hour right now and we're getting about now now it's starting to go downhill but we're getting about 28 29 miles per gallon pretty good right, pulling back into maxi let's see what we got for fuel economy 27.6 miles per gallon not bad so when we pop the hood of the maverick these are pretty basic powertrains two liter turbo some of the things i noticed right off the bat is for long-term serviceability you have four spark plugs right there super easy to service those if you had to change those in the future air intake is an easy spot changing the battery is in an easy spot there's actually weirdly enough a lot of room in here if you had to do some different stuff kind of see your brake booster in the rear here's your fuse panel you've got your coolant bottle and you've got your windshield washer fluid when we go into the hood of the standard fx4 it's no different i have the powertrain on so you can kind of hear the difference it's a very quiet power train the only noise you're really hearing is the injectors firing i don't notice anything different under the hood of the maverick versus the fx4 this truck doesn't come with the spray of bed liner so you can kind of see what it looks like if you needed to put a spray and bed liner or if you decided to go with the plastic liner gives you that option what's nice is you still have a really good width between the wheel wells and with the tailgate down this has got to be over six foot long which is nice i also notice like the f-150 it gives you the recovery points for your ratchet straps on the side and you also have your four recovery points on the sides of the bed as well as the two up front for like if you do a motorcycle or dirt bike and you know what else i noticed another thing that's kind of cool it's actually got the drain holes in the front of the bed so if water or snow is in there it can vent out easy tailgate is also must have tailgate assist because this is not too heavy to put up I'm curious too if this is an aluminum body like the F series. All right, now let's take a look at the window sticker. So this is a 2024 XLT all-wheel drive with the two liter turbo with the eight speed transmission. This gives you the 300A package, the FX4 uh, off-road package, a 4K tow package, which is nice, full size spare, for a grand total of $31,675, you can kind of see the fuel economy here. 22 miles per gallon city, 29 highway for a mix of 25 miles per gallon. Here's what's going to be interesting. We just did this truck. This says mix 21 miles per gallon. We got 25.6 on that loop. Now let's look in the second row of the standard XLT and just kind of compare how this looks different than the trimmer. This is definitely a different interior theme, different door insets. Still have the same storage, I believe. Yes, you do. Nice and deep. That's actually incredible how deep that goes. And you still have the same cup holders and the same storage behind the second row. If you're interested in either the trimmer or the FX4, I would highly recommend you to talk to Bob Maxey at Howell, Michigan. Josh is a salesperson I've worked with. I've been very happy with their service department and how they've treated me and my family. I wanna thank Bob Maxey for letting me do the review for you guys on this. So if you're asking me, which one would I go with? That's a tough call. You're gonna get one and a half to two mile per gallon better fuel economy, the FX4 versus the trimmer. Looks wise, I think this looks a lot better. Off-road capability, this has more capability with the locker in the rear, a little bit bigger lift, a little more clearance in the front, more aggressive tire. I like to ride on this a lot better. Off-road performance, I think the interior also looks a lot better. It really just depends on what you're after. This is a better pick where if you're looking for fuel economy and just livability day to day and you're not interested in the appearance side of the trimmer, this is better for the person that is looking for a little bit more appearance and a little bit more off-road capability. Maybe you got a place up north or sometimes you get in uh, off-roading, whether you're going dirt biking, mountain biking, skiing, and you need just a little bit more off-road capability, this would be a better solution. I hope you find this video helpful. These are high capability trucks. And I think what's funny about this is these are the smallest trucks Ford makes for 2024. And I just saw a, a Explore sport track going down the road and that was considered a mid-sized truck back 15 20 years ago and that came out and physically it looked to be the exact same size as ford's smallest truck today so it just goes to show how much physically larger trucks have gotten in the past few years i hope you enjoy if you do feel free to like and subscribe have a good one